Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. John Coleman and I have teamed up once again with Bill Jordan, who embraces the boom and all things that are good. Hey, I do, don't I? I do. Hey, yeah, you do. Hey, man. Embrace the boom, Bill. That's the one. Mark, Oops. In your introduction, you forgot to mention that we are talking to a new author. Oh, I am. Author, a man who wrote a book. Bill, show yeah. us the book. There oh, it is. Perfect. Ah. What did you think? Did back, they print I'm it upside it down? The, I'm sending it back to the printer. This is how it came out of the box. I opened them up, and they're all printed upside down. Yeah, I'd burn them. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Uh, yeah, Embrace the Boom. It is now published. It came out on March 21st. Uh, guys, I'll be honest with you. I mean, look at it. It's not war and peace, okay? Yeah. It is my 15 practices compiled in book form as far as how to lead a, a calmer, more rewarding life as we are in, you know, baby boomer phase. If you were born between 1946 and uh, 1964, you are by definition a baby boomer. And quite honestly, it's stuff, and I've mentioned this to you before, my practices, and I say practices because I will never perfect them. None of us ever will because we're humans, but they're worthy goals, I think. It's stuff I wish I had known when I was 16 years old. Yes, yeah. You know, it's just wisdom and borrowed a lot from the ancient Stoics, the guys, and, and I've said this before too, these guys, the Senecas and the Platos and the Socrates and that whole bunch, they were talking about the human frailties that we still have today. Right. They were talking about ego and jealousy and worry and pride. And, and it's just, it's a way of, you know, I never understood what philosophy was. And now I'm fascinated by it. And it's simply, it is the study on how to live. You know? Well, you certainly yeah, figured that, that out and you share it with us a lot. So, so in your Embrace the Boom uh, book, uh, which, are, and by the way, I, I was never a big fan of war and peace, so I'm really uh, uh, want to tell you that I would not denigrate this book at all. It's probably far better than it. And I hope you wind up selling more copies of it. But how can people go about getting a copy of this book? Well, I've got a friend of mine, Mark Grady, who has his own publishing business now. He actually used to do uh, traffic for us when I was uh, on the air here in Raleigh. He was up in a Cessna flying over like the old school. They don't do it like that anymore. So he'd be actually on a radio, you know, talking down about what he sees on different venues or, you know, different highways and byways here in the Raleigh-Durham area. Uh, and anyway, life took him in a different path, took me in a different path, but now he's a publisher at WebsterFalls.com, like Webster as in Daniel Webster and Falls like Niagara Falls, WebsterFalls.com. Um, and you can order it there also, but it's available uh, at Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com or Walmart.com. And uh, um, again, it's a book that not necessarily you're going to read, and you can read it pretty quickly. I'm having people tell me they're using it almost as a resource. I've got a friend who's keeping it in her purse. Uh, people just putting it on their nightstands or an end table, maybe in the bathroom. I don't care where it is, but it's just something that I think. I think there's more than a few little nuggets in there, little gems that you're going to be able to use to help you navigate your life and, again, lead a maybe a more rewarding and calmer existence as we're now in this state of being baby boomers. Yeah, and all baby boomers can use that, I can guarantee you. And also, Bill, our, knowing oh, you, knowing oh, you oh. I, I expect to have a lot of humor in there as well. I don't know if there's a lot, and it depends on, you know, humor's in the eye or ear of the beholder, so... Um, I, I think I try to use some humor to make some some points uh, upon occasion. I, I think that's you know humor can be a, a, a valuable teaching aid. So I think there's I think there might be some in there. So let me ask you a question: Can, can people be assured? Or, although, if if they wanted one of the upside down versions, a are they still <laughs> available? Okay, I think they're always going to be available. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. And uh, uh, is there any possibility of? Somebody wanted to get an autographed copy that they might you know, be able to trying, raise that? 
We're trying to work that out. I mean, the, the, the only way I can think of doing it is getting the book and then sending it to me and with a self-addressed stamped envelope and I sign it to you and send it back. I'm really not set up here at home to mm. process books and be driving back and forth to the mailbox a whole lot. So we're trying to figure that out. There may be some book signings here in the Raleigh area. Uh, I have to talk to a friend of mine who runs a uh, media promotions company. So we'll see how the book goes. I mean, I'm getting a good response via social media. I don't think I've gotten a review on Amazon yet, although I know people have bought it on Amazon. So I hate, you know, I don't want to beg for reviews. I think the best review is going to be how the book is selling, you know, knowing how well, uh, uh, you know, word of mouth is the best sure. advertising. So now, now, now that you're a big deal uh, book publisher, an author, um, uh, and, uh, you know, God forbid you get the Pulitzer Prize, then <laughs> I don't know that we'll even be able to reach you again. But uh, before that might happen, uh, are you still, you know, are, are you so much into being an author now that uh, you've uh, dumped the whole line of uh, mugs? Or can people still get the mug? People are, people are getting them in combo art, you know? Uh, and not, not that they're going out together, but they order the book and then they order the mug, or they've ordered the, mug, uh, ordered the mug and they want the book to go with it, or they've ordered the book and they want the mug to go with it. Now, the mug I do process from here at home because I've got a, about a quarter of my garage is boxes full of mugs. So, uh, but again, you know, the, the mug for me, and we've talked about this before, it's a pretty sturdy thing. It's 15 ounces of whatever you want to put in it. And I use it to anchor my day. I have coffee first thing in the morning. So I put it in this, I look at Embrace the Boom, and it reminds me of where I am in my life. And people can complain about getting old and getting old is a pain and that's all this. And yeah, there's, there's some pros and cons to being older, but overall, you know, we're still here. And I think if we're still here, we're here for a reason. Well, I just want to... I just want to say I just want to say that, um, uh, and I'm going to certify this. Uh, uh, I'll put my full faith and credit behind it. That this mug is a terrific mug for enjoying a book with, and any book. Okay, so it's not just the Embrace the Boom book, which I'm sure will have a very special attachment. But um, so get your mug, get your hold up the book, the upside down version. I like that one better. Bill Jordan, I, I think, Art, pick up the I book. Think, pick up the I, book, the way, Bill. Art, we know we know Bill is a very uh, creative guy. He's made the mug both left-handed, correct, and right-handed. I, I didn't know that. Amphibious. Wow. It is amphibious. Also, yep. as we pointed this out, and this has been quite a while ago. If you hold it up to your right ear, you hear the Atlantic Ocean. If you hold it up to your left ear, you hear the Pacific Ocean. And you oh, get the good. mug, you get the mug at Bill Jordan Embrace the yeah. Bill Jordan Embrace the Boom.com. Free shipping on all orders. And and the book, Bill. Let's and the not book. forget the book. The book Yes, again, is this is just... at WebsterFalls.com, WebsterFalls.com, yep. or if you've got, you know, an Amazon gift card or Barnes & Noble gift card or Walmart gift card burning a hole in your pocket, available online at Amazon.com, Walmart dot com barnes and noble dot com yep and and like the bug the book comes in both upside down and right side up well yeah you know again it's almost like it's uh, sort of a vertically amphibious yeah yeah ah. and by the by the way i want to put in a little plug for celebrating act two uh in honor of uh, somebody that we i think all at one time or another appreciated soupy sales if there's any loose uh change or or uh, dollar bills uh, hanging around the house, you can send them to John and me. Uh, and we'll be happy to, to give you a final Quite account. the tribute. Quite the tribute. Yes. Bill, good so, luck with the book. Thanks, you guys. Don't forget, live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. Embrace em the boom. Embrace the boom. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.